Well, uh, storytelling is an experiential art. So in order for my students to learn and really um, integrate the skills, they have to tell stories. So it's, it's very much a practical, um, hands-on class. Ah, father wakes up, goes out to the stable. What does he find there? A beautiful elephant. By setting a tone of encouragement and openness and sort of wild, uh, wildness, basically, you know, crazy, oh, that's my crazy teacher, it, it, um, it gives the students a sense of freedom. And then he changed from the pigeon, and then he was the falcon, and so then he changed into the, and then, and then he was the bat, and he dropped down. And... I also saw that the students are extremely stressed out and disconnected. And I wanted to create an environment where they learned to speak their story and appreciate a story and to connect through story and to create a community that's encouraging to them uh, through storytelling. I wanted to create a class that would be a respite. So um, I never doubted it would work. What I did doubt was that I would be able to rise to the occasion and um, try to find the right thing to say at the right moment. My job is to serve the story, and that might not necessarily serve the storyteller. I'm hoping when they go out into the world, they'll hear the stories, they'll be more compassionate listeners, and and tell stories to their children.